when I talk about you being allowed to have whatever you want in your reality, I always talk about the analogy of this cosmic cafeteria. In life, we have this invisible tray and we're walking through life looking at all that life has to offer in this reality. And we get to put whatever we want on our metaphorical tray. We get to say, yes, God, I want that, put it on my tray. Yes, God, I want that, put it on my tray. The same way when you go to a buffet and all you can eat buffet, you walk in with your tray and you're like, yep, I want those dinner rolls. Yep, I want those crab legs. Yep, I want this corn. Yep, I want whatever. Yes, I'm gonna have this sushi put it on my tray anything you want you're allowed to put on your tray again mindset shift this is the entitlement energy you need to have whatever you decide is what you will have if you decide you will be successful that is what you will have if you decide you will be in poverty then that is what you will have the universe is always saying yes 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 you can put the dream relationship on your plate or you can put the toxic relationship on your plate you don't know you have a problem until you set the standard and deviate from the standard. Hi guys, it's Nyjah. Welcome back to my channel. I help awaken women create their dream life through manifestation and mindset. Today, we are going to talk about something that just got downloaded into me. So I'm going to riff on it. The download that I received is you need to feel entitled to your dream life. Ah, this is so good. I feel it already. You need to feel entitled to your dream life. What is the energy of somebody who knows that they deserve something? What is the energy of somebody who knows they are meant to have what they want? Societally, this is just making me think about like <laughs> the energy that a white man has when he walks into a building, right? And he just knows that he just deserves the best, like best whatever. Like, yes, when I walk through the door, you need to say hello to me. Yes, I expect the best customer service there is. Yes, you're going to give me what I want, right? It's the entitlement, but not in a bad way. Just in a, I know that my presence deserves a certain level of attention, a certain level of energy. That is the energy that I want you to have. That is the confidence that I want you to have when it comes to the life that you desire. You need to feel entitled to that life. You need to feel like I already know that I deserve it. I'm not asking for permission. I'm not begging to experience it. This is what I'm here to have. Dream life or nothing. Dream life or nothing. This is the energy you need to be embodying when it comes to pursuing the things that you want in life. You need to have this mindset shift that I'm here to experience this. I know I'm here to experience this. I know I'm here to experience millions. I know I'm here to experience my dream life. I know I'm here to experience driving around in my dream car. I know I'm here to experience putting the key into my dream house. I know I'm here to experience the best love has to offer. I'm here to experience it. If I'm not experiencing it, that's a problem. Okay, I was watching this YouTube video and the speaker was like, how do you know that there's a problem if you do not set the standard? You must set the standard for the life that you want to live. And then when you're not meeting that standard, then you know there's a problem. You don't know that there's a problem. You don't know that you've deviated from the standard until the standard is set. So if you set the standard of your life, you don't know that there's a problem until you deviate from the standard. Meaning that if I set the standard that it is normal for me to make $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month. If I say that is the standard, I am not aware that I have a problem until I deviate from that standard. Until I am not making 10 k a month, 100 k a month. I don't know that there is a problem in my life until I set the standard and I deviate from the standard. So step number one, you guys need to set a standard for the life that you're supposed to be living. For some of you guys, it is standard for you to not have money to pay your rent. It is standard for you to not have the money that it takes to pay your bills. That's just another day on earth for you. That's normal. That's regular. Like, yeah, you're freaking out like, oh, here we go again. What am I going to do to pay my, my bills this month? But truthfully, subconsciously, that is a standard. That is normal. That is regular for you. It is another day on earth when you can't pay your bills. It's another day on earth when you can't pay your rent. It's another day on earth when you you open your refrigerator and don't 
fancy, healthy, vibrant, colorful foods that are good for your body. That is the standard that you've set for yourself. Until you set the standard that my bills are paid on autopilot every single month, I don't even need to think about it. Until you set that standard, you do not know that you're deviating from the standard, meaning that you have a problem. Ding, ding, ding. We don't know we have a problem until we set the standard. So that means that we need to adjust that internal programming, that internal wiring that you're currently set to. I say this in one of my lives, we all have an internal temperature, right? We, are, we set the standard internally. We have this internal thermometer, this internal thermostat where we're setting the standard for what is okay and what is acceptable in our life. For some of us, our standard or our thermostat is set to I'm supposed to run out of money at the end of the month. I'm supposed to wait every two weeks for my paycheck to be received. I'm supposed to haggle with my landlord every single month when I can't afford to pay my bills. That is the standard that you set. That's the internal programming you set to. And therefore, that is what you keep experiencing because that is what you've told yourself is normal. Until you create a new standard, until you create the new bar, right? You're going to keep believing that what you keep experiencing is normal. You don't know you have a problem until you set the standard and deviate from the standard. So I want everybody to think about what is the new standard of existence for me, right? How much money am I meant to make every, every, however often, right? How, what is my desire? Where am I supposed to be living? What's the new standard? Is it okay for me to continue to live in the ghetto? Or am I aware that this is not meeting my standard, therefore I have a problem? You don't know you have a problem until you start deviating from the standard. If you set the standard and the new standard is, I eat healthy food, I fuel my body with the best things that I can fuel my body with, and then you start going to fast food every single day, you don't know you have a problem until you deviate from the standard. So for a lot of us, we need to set new standards, set new parameters. You're allowed to do this. You are the creator of your reality. God gave your life to you. You're in charge of it. You're the boss of it. You're the god of your reality. You're the goddess of your reality. Why? Because God gave your life to you. God didn't give your life to your mom or to your dad. God didn't give your life to the president of the United States. God didn't give your life to whoever that you think is above you making things happen in your reality. God gave your life to you. You have to have a level of entitlement when it comes to the life that you're living. Like when you write down a goal on a piece of paper, you need to be aware that this is the standard. This is what I'm here to experience. This is the life I'm here to live. You don't ask God to fulfill and meet your goals. You make God, aka yourself, aware that this is the standard and this is what we will have. When I talk about you being allowed to have whatever you want in your reality, I always talk about the, the analogy of this cosmic cafeteria. In life, we have this invisible tray and we're walking through life looking at all that life has to offer in this reality. And we get to put whatever we want on our metaphorical tray. We get to say, yes, God, I want that, put it on my tray. Yes, God, I want that, put it on my tray. The same way when you go to a buffet and all you can eat buffet, you walk in with your tray and you're like, yep, I want those dinner rolls. Yep, I want those crab legs. Yep, I want this corn. Yep, I want whatever. Yes, I'm gonna have this sushi put it on my tray anything you want you're allowed to put on your tray again mindset shift this is the entitlement energy you need to have and I don't mean t entitlement in a negative way I know sometimes people like to twist and misconstrue things okay entitlement is not always a negative thing in our society we experience entitlement as a negative thing but entitlement is not always negative entitlement means that I know that I am owed this I know that I am due for this I know that this is what I'm allowed to have 
just like um, a baby when a baby is born and it starts drinking its mother's milk the baby is not asking for permission mommy can I have milk mommy am I allowed to have milk mommy am I good enough to have milk no the baby starts crying the entitlement the audacity of this baby how dare you cry and demand milk babies have this awareness I need to be fed I need sub substance I need sustenance I'm going to cry until I get my needs met here's the difference as an awakened woman you do not need to cry stomp your feet beg for the things that you desire stop begging never beg again never ask God for permission to have what you want again because the answer is already yes I don't know what kind of God that you serve, right? But the God that I have a relationship with, the God that my reality has led me to understand is God is the giver of everything. Anything that you want, the answer is yes. Even things that you don't ask for, the answer is yes. Whatever you decide is what you will have. If you decide you will be successful, that is what you will have. If you decide you will be in poverty, then that is what you will have. The universe is always saying yes, 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 yes. When you walk into the cosmic cafeteria, you can put whatever you want on your plate. You can put the dream relationship on your plate or you can put the toxic relationship on your plate. This is the entitlement you need to have in your reality. You also have to be willing to take accountability for everything that is. Meaning that if you're currently experiencing a reality that you don't desire, you cannot change it until you take responsibility. Even if you believe it's not your fault, even if you believe that you didn't choose this, even if you believe that someone else did this to you, you need to take responsibility. It's not your, your cheating boyfriend's fault. It's your fault for choosing him. It's not your landlord's fault that the rent is so expensive. You chose to live there. You need to meet the standards. Okay? It's not, it's not anybody's fault. It's not your boss's fault that you're only making X amount of money. What do you feel like you deserve? Go after what you deserve. You need to have entitlement when it comes to living the life of your dreams. You are privileged. Wake up. You are privileged. If you're watching my video, you are privileged. Okay? You have the privilege of creating the life of your dreams. You have the privilege of having whatever it is that you want. You're privileged. You're entitled. Turn on the awareness. Whatever you write down on a piece of paper, whatever you say that you want, whatever the goal is, you need to turn on the awareness. You're not asking for it. You're saying, this is what I will have. God, this is what I will have. This is what I will have. If I do not have this, there is a problem. There is a problem. I'm not going to have a temper tantrum. I'm not going to cry about it. I'm not going to shake my fist. I'm not going to curse at the air about it. But I am making myself aware that if I set the standard of my life, nobody else can set the standard of your life but you. So if you're not experiencing what you want to experience, that's a you problem. When I set the standard and say what I will have, if I'm not experiencing it, I know that there is a problem. But it's not an external problem, it's an internal problem. I have to ask myself, why hasn't it arrived yet? What am I doing or what am I not doing that is stopping this from entering my reality? Why don't I have the house of my dreams yet? Why don't I have the apartment of my dreams yet? Why don't I have the car of my dreams yet? Why don't I have the love of my dreams yet? It's a me problem. What am I not doing? How am I not showing up? Where do I not need to put in more effort? Where do I need to have more consistency? Where do I need to keep showing up? Whatever it is that you want in reality, you need to step into it with that privilege, with that authority. With that, there is nobody who can tell me that I can't have what I want. I will have what I want. I'm the creator of my reality. I will have whatever I say I want. We're no longer asking for things. We don't say, God, please give me this. God, please give me that. God, please make me good enough. To God is like, you already have the power. Stop talking to me. Go exercise your power. Exercise your power. Please. Somebody put that in the comments. Stop begging. Stop complaining. Exercise your power. Nobody can give you anything. You must give it to yourself. Exercise your power. At this point, God's not even giving it to you. God is like, all I can do is make you aware of the power that I've given you. That's all I can do. All God can do is make you aware of the power that he's given you. That's all God can do. Okay? 
Yes, God can move mountains. Yes, miracles can happen. But guess what? God wants you to be aware of the power that you possess. God wants you to use your creation power. God is like, why am I pulling the strings for you when you have the ability to do this? This is your creation. This is your realm. You need to maneuver through your reality with that entitlement, with that authority that you're allowed to have whatever you want. So this video was just a little mindset shift. I want you to be entitled when it comes to the things that you're asking for. And if it's not currently in your reality, you need to say, well, why isn't it here? Ask yourself. Nigel, why isn't this here yet? Insert your name. Why isn't this here yet? Why isn't it here? What do I need to change about myself, about my actions, about what I'm doing to make this happen? Why isn't it here yet? All right, guys, my name is Nigel Sim. I help awake women create their dream life through manifestation and mindset. If you're enjoying these messages and you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, I have coaching available. You can check the links below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.